Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eugene and I would like to show you how uh, to do straightness measurement with our Angular measurement kit. Uh, in the video we'll have a time code so you can jump right into the part you're interested in. So let's uh, go and see how the measurements work. Prepare the machine tool for device installation. Take the interferometer from the box. Install the interferometer on the machine body. Keep in mind that you have to install it directly on machine operational parts, not on the body or some flexible details. Take the USB cable. the power plug cable and the power brick from the box. Connect the power brick to the device and connect to the power plug. Switch on the device and check the laser beam. Then, if you want to connect by wire, connect it with USB cable, or you can connect via Bluetooth. Launch the HPI software and select the connection method. Select your device from the list and click Connect. Mount the angular reflector to the bracket. And install it under the machine. The installation process is the same as for dynamic 3D measurements. Align roughly the laser beam so you can see the reflection in the second aperture. Then open aperture rings. Go to display in the software and open the alignment window to the full screen. You will see the laser beam appearing. Align the machine table in the way that the laser beam is in the center. Use small increments for alignment. You can see on the screen how it looks. Then transfer the measuring axle to the second position. You'll see that the laser beam will drift somewhere. Align it with screws on top of the laser head body. The cables are removed for demonstration purposes. Return the laser beam back to the center. Transfer the axle back down and check the alignment. You can align with small increments with your machine tool table. Repeat the procedure until the beam is zeroed in both positions. Then install the interferometer to the bracket and mount it on the machine. Keep in mind that the arrow indicates the laser beam direction. Don't install it the opposite way. Close the apertures. Mount the bracket to the machine. The alignment procedure is basically the same as it was with the reflector. Roughly align it with closed apertures until you see the reflection in the second aperture. When you do see the reflection, open the apertures and align it with your hand looking at the 
screen of your software. Two beams should be close together and as close to zero as possible. Try align one axle at a time. It takes time to practice. Then install the environment and temperature sensors. You may need more sensors if you measure big machine and you need to get a good temperature gradient. Install the environmental sensor as close to the laser beam as possible. Temperature sensors should be installed to get even temperature gradient across the axle. Open straightness measurement. Set the start and stop position. Select the measurement method. We will use automatic this time. Then calibrate the device. Just lightly pushing on the uh, blue arrow you see on the interferometer. When you see calibration completed, close the calibration window. You can generate CNC code for the machine. We support different controllers. Also, you can add additional information like measurement axle, feed rate, stop time, file number, start and end position, and the step. Also, the machine clearance. Click generate and save the code to transfer it to the machine. Then load the program to the machine and launch it until M0 instruction. After M0 instruction, press Start in your software. You will see the countdown appears. When the countdown reaches zero, press Start program on the machine. Keep in mind that it is very important to have the same feed rate on the machine and in the software. Also, don't change the feed rate during measurements. The machine will begin to move, and you will see the dot appearing on the screen. The measurement will stop automatically. Then you can save the report directly to PDF with print and Microsoft PDF or print it. You can also view the report, an extended one or a brief one, with graphs and tables for every point measured. Also you can generate compensation table. You can add machine data like machine type, serial number, Excel, operator, company, and comments. You can also select the compensation data format. We support three, Absolute, Heidenheim 3D, and Siemens. Save the file and transfer it to the machine. Also, you can save the measurement in our format for later analysis.
Keep in mind that uh, you have to measure stresses in two different directions. Uh, I have shown you uh, only one direction in the video because the process of uh, measuring the second direction is the same. The only thing you have to do is to rotate uh, the optics 90 degrees. So you have to rotate the retroreflector and uh, the interferometer 90 degrees uh, and uh, make the second measurement. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to our channel, we will make new videos.